All right, man, Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. Look, man, it's 12 o'clock show. 12 o'clock show. We in here. We in here like swimwear. You know what it is. Hey, man, listen. So today's episode, I'm going to be talking about little Uzi Vert. Um, and is it over for all these young guys in the hip-hop industry? Um, I think it is, and I'm going to give my theory on what I think is going on. But, you know, before I get into that, I got to get in my legendary spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies for one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch. But I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links on the screen. Cash app, PayPal's in the description. They called me the hidden gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000 subscribers and counting a million by Monday morning. And let me know where you're from. I promise you, this ain't ash on my lips. This ain't ash on my lips. It's actually grays, and I hate it because it looks like ash. Like my lips is ashy, like I was eating eating chicken and some shit but either way man we're gonna get into it the king of the north you know what it is let's go man told you talk all right this clip comes courtesy of academics so let's get it man we're gonna get into the clip and then i'm gonna give y'all my theory about what's going on with the younger rappers let's go incredibly surprised that little uzi vert is only on pace to sell about 60,000 copies first week. And by the way, the final sales will come out tomorrow. There was no bundles. Um, he just kind of dropped. But 60K instead of like 200K is um, it's a huge. Now, there's a reason why that is. Um, one of the major reasons why that is because these guys don't have no work ethic. And I think they, they think that they have a cult following or at least to the point where people will, no matter what they do, they always check for them. And also, too, and I know a lot of this, I know a lot of the people probably uh, maybe disagree with this, or they might. That battle between Kendrick and Drake, that really took, a air, that took the air out of a lot of ba- uh, rappers, and it took the air out of the room. A lot of people don't really want to hear a lot of rappers no more, but but uh, Kendrick and Drake. And, I, and that goes all the way to the top. Like, r- seriously, like, you're going to see a lot of people who are, who are uh, maybe not everybody, but you're going to see a lot of people who kind of like ain't doing the numbers that, just, that people expect them to do. But yeah, man, I, I'm going to tell you right now, that's probably, that's one of the major reasons why. But the, but the big reason why is that these rappers don't, these young rappers don't have no work ethic. And they think because they do a little something or, or put something in their forehead or, or, do something a little devilish that everybody's going to follow them. You got to keep the people trained. You got to keep it coming. And if you don't keep it coming, if you don't keep the work coming or at least quality work, and not to say that he don't got quality work, he got some all right stuff, but it ain't like super fire. It ain't fire. It's just, it's all right. It's a little flame, a little, little tiny, little, 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 uh, poof. You know what I'm saying? A little sparkle. That's about it, but it ain't nothing serious. And that's the reason why most of the time, like, nobody cares. What's the last time he put out with Project? What's the last time Lil Uzi Vert did something that was actually super good? You know, it's like, oh, no, he has a, a subsection of people who like him, but not enough for him to get a million copies. That's the crazy part, and I'm going to explain that in a second. You know what I'm saying? But let's keep it going. Dip. I believe that, what was his last? Well, actually, Pink Tape didn't do that much. Last, uh, Uzi Pink Tape first week. Yeah, but we looked at it like a mixtape, and that did 167, right? And Eternal a Take before, Eternal a Take first week. Remember, he dropped two, so he did 288, and then he did like 250, right? Yeah, he, he did like, he, he did, he did damn near 200K twice. Hmm. Okay. Let me be very clear and very, and just very honest in, um, what I believe is going on with Uzi, man. Um, I think Uzi's one of the last to figure out that fans don't give a fuck as much as you think. Okay? I always tell That's That's a fact. A lot of these fans don't care. They don't care 
about the way you think they care about you, they don't. They don't. They don't. And if you ain't doing something that's like touching them, like if you're just doing some shit that they just like for now, they're going to fuck with it. But for the most part, you're not going to really fuck with it. If you're doing something that that next week they don't care about. And a lot of these rappers, that's what they do. They do a lot of the stuff that next week nobody's going to care about it. Like for real. They drop something and next week nobody cares about it. Yeah, that, like, l- let me use Lil Baby as an example. Lil Baby's only me sold 200K. A lot of times you're selling your next album or your last. So after Eternal Take, anything that Uzi dropped, I think Pink Tape was next, unless maybe I was tripping and it was a mid project. But anyway, or middle project. But Uzi came off of Pink Tape. And Pink Tape was, you know, it got lukewarm reception. So the, the anticipation is down. So him naming it Eternal Take, I don't think people gave a fuck. People wanted to just hear the music. Now I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Uh and I and I got and I got some of the music here. Let me see. Like some of the songs I legit like, right? Like there's a song on there called Chill Bay. Like the song, okay? I really enjoy it. Right? But let me just kind of be honest about what's what's going on here. All right, hold on. Sorry. Okay. Let me be honest about what's going on. Yeah, I don't, like, I, I don't know. I listen to Schoolboy Q album, not Schoolboy, uh, uh, the Absol album. I listen to Comacopia. I don't care about Uzi album after I heard those. I didn't even hear Uzi album yet. And I can tell you I wouldn't care about it. Cause I know it ain't. I know it's not as good as those two albums. I know it. It's not as good as 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 uh as as uh Blue Lips either. Those three albums right there are are in the Dochi album, the Alligator Bites, uh, John. Those albums are the best albums I heard this year. And then you got some other ones too, like uh, I like Ransom and um Kanye Way the Machine. That's a great album. That's that would be in my top top ten albums. And um. Maybe about two out two, three other ones, but for the most part, nah. I don't care about it. nobody's gonna because I already know it's not gonna be nothing that's gonna be to me that's groundbreaking. It's just gonna be something that he did in the last three, four albums he did. Like come on, bro. Come on, bro. You know it's bad when people who listen to rap all their life can't even understand some of the stuff that some of these rappers be saying. Like, nah, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to hear that on here. Uzi has somehow lost the luster of fans being so intrigued. And I do believe it's by a lot of his actions. I think it's by many different things. And, and, I, and I hope if he hears this, he doesn't feel like I'm, being mad negative, I have a good relationship with Uzi. But I'm, I'm just being honest with what I think. I don't think the music has been as infectious as people have always yearned it to be. But that it doesn't have to be that for you to sell as much if, as you've wanted to or, or needed to. This is a tale of two. I mean, I kind of I kind of agree, but I kind of disagree. I definitely think that the music has to be infectious for it to sell but also i think that it has to be connected connective too i think a lot of people have to know how to you know because the thing is there's artists that stay around because they're they're actually pretty good and they can you know fake it until they make it and then there's artists that stay around because they connect to everybody and they don't have to even do too much and I think that he's in that in that position where it's kind of weird with him because I think a lot of people liked him in the beginning, and I think now a lot of people look at him as like I don't know they just look at him as like, he's in that he's in that that the worst the worst category the worst rappers of all time categories even though he might not be the worst rapper 
but he's he's put into that category. Like him, Little Yachty, uh, <coughs> Little Uzi. They, whenever somebody say, well, name a rapper that's trash, they either say him, they either say Little Uzi or Little Yachty. They say they say either one. And people always saying, like, well, Little Little Uzi is he Little Uzi Vert. He's the, he's a good lyricist. He's really not a good lyricist. He just raps fast. And that, that's another thing y'all gotta stop. Because somebody rap fast and you can't understand them doesn't make them a great lyricist. Like, no. It's because they and I ain't talking about double time rapping. I'm talking about rapping like the beat, the beat goes. Yeah, that that's that that's not rapping double time, but that's rapping fast, and it's like he following a hi hat, and he's like, "Oh yeah, man, he's fire." No, he's not. No, he's not. And I don't know. That's that's how I feel about. That's how that's how I think people feel about Lil Uzi. I think they feel like he's just not as good as they thought he was. And his time probably passed. Like he was at the time when weird, when weird, when that weirdo rap was in. And I like weirdo rap, but it was at the time when it, when it was weird, when you were being weird, everybody was cool with it. Now everybody going back to normal. Most people going back to normal. They don't really want to hear that. They want to hear that weird stuff. They don't. Tapes. If you ask me, if I had told you back in like 2020 that, you know. Let's be honest. If Cardi dropped right now, what would he sell? You don't even know what's going to be on it. You don't know what voice he's going to have. If you say anything below 130, you're an idiot. If Cardi drops right now, I really think it's 170, maybe eight. It might be 200. Let me explain to you what's going on. A lot of these artists have been able to capture the mystique of the fans by curating the mystique. I think Uzi has lost that. I think Uzi along with the you know I'm saying that's that's a fact. I I I agree. I agree with him on that. He definitely has I was never really intrigued by him anyway, but I'm starting to see a lot of his fans and I hate to say this, they mentally grew up. They mentally grew up. A lot of them they don't have time to be figuring stuff out and listening to him when they got a lot of problems going on. There's, there's, there's certain things they got to do. And a lot of these people, they kind of moving past this, this stage of rap. And they kind of, I kind of feel like people think that he hasn't grown as an artist either. He's doing the same thing he did on the last couple of tracks. You know what I'm saying? Relationship what he has. And I, I'm not speaking out against this relationship. I don't give a fuck. He's happy. I don't care. But, I don't think there's any mystery around Uzi anymore. And I think fans at this point have seen so many things of his that hasn't connected. For example, Playboy Cardi wears a thong and face paint and the, you know, like this KKK mask causes this rabid conversation, but also intrigue. Uzi like, Wore some jeggings, did a split, had some Birkin bags, and did some shit at, um... Y'all remember this performance? I think it was Uzi. It wasn't real loud. Yeah, this one right here. Like, he just looks corny. This looks corny. And people seeing through that now. It's like, bro, come on, what are you doing? It's like, okay, let me, let me, let me use the LGBTQ whatever community to try to act like I'm inclusive with them and get some of the people that's on their side to see that I'm inclusive with them. It's corny. He looks corny. He looks stupid and corny with those big things on him. He looks like a Mortal Kombat character. Blood, whatever her name is. What was it? Scarlet. Yeah, he looks like Scarlet. That's what he looks like. Scarlet wins. That's what he looks like. You know what I'm saying? Scarlet wins. That's what he looks like. Scarlet 
wings. Flawless victory. That's what he looked like. You know what I'm saying? He looked stupid. For real. Like, I, I don't... I, you just look dumb. And and I think a lot of people are starting to look at that now. And they go back like, how did I even like this guy? <laughs> For what... I might be completely off the reservation, but I want to make this analogy. I'm going to make this analogy to you. I believe the mystique with Uzi is, is, is died down a bit is because I don't think people believe it. Like they don't believe that what they're seeing with this is who he is. They believe he's doing that for shock value. As opposed to Cardi, they believe that Cardi is that. I'm going to give you an example. I want you guys to watch a movie if you guys haven't watched it. I know some one in the chat if you watched it. It's called The Prestige. It's a very amazing movie. But it's a movie about magic. It's about two magicians. Oh, that movie's fire. And oh, Is that The Illusionist? Is that what that is? Let me see. Is that what that is? I think that that's what that is. Yeah, that movie is fire. If you haven't seen that movie... Yeah, this movie is amazing. With uh with uh uh I think it's uh Hugh Jackman and um what is this dude name again? That's one of my favorite actors too. Oh uh uh Christian Bell. Yeah, it's that movie is fire. It's fire. It's a, it's fire. I think it came out in, in in 2010 or something like that. But yeah, that that's a that's a fire movie. Trust me when I tell you. To give the core of the movie is to explain and to say they said the, the some of the best tricks that a magician ever did was not only done on the stage, but it was done off of the stage. Mm -hmm. The person lived the, the trick. There's a, there's a po point in the movie where they point to a guy who's an old guy who does a trick on stage where... Because he looks so old and feeble, you're like, ah, he must be doing this with real magic or some other clever way. But the easiest way to think that he could do it is that he would have such inner thigh, you know, um, um, like power to carry this really heavy bowl across whatever, whatever. But they're like, no, he looks weak. He's limping. He's looks like he's kind of lame. He's he's limping. They would see him limp on stage. They would see him limp off the stage. In reality, he never limped at all. But every time you would see him on the stage or off the stage, he lived it. And he lived it because his greatest trick was making you feel mm. that he was too old and too weak to do what he was actually going to do. That's important. When it comes to mystique these days, when it comes to hip hop, and that's why I think Cardi's a genius. Have you seen Cardi break character yet? Other than these little body cam videos. Have you seen him break character? I'm asking a question. Do you feel like Cardi's broken character? Whether it's his relationship or whoever he be with, whether it's him being around the guys, Destroy Lonely, Ken Carson, whether it's him being around Ye, whether it's him popping out these, have you seen him break character yet? That boy don't break character for nothing. He go on Aiden Raw stream, still in character. Let me tell you why that's important. That mystique don't die. I still have some type of, if someone told me that Cardi was going to do a concert from a cave that had a million bats in it, oh, I would be tuned in because I'm like, he's like a vampire. He's like one of them. Does that sound feasible? No, but he doesn't break character. That's important. He. Now, that's true. That's true. And what he's saying is true. When you are... And when you are an artist and you're a musician or whatever you want to call it, and you decide to go down the road where you're going to um, 
your persona is what you're going to live out. You kind of, if you, it, for you to make people believe you, you have to do that. So there was a, it was a scene in um, the Batman, uh, not Batman, in uh, I think it was Suicide Squad, the first one, not the not the other one, but the first one, when uh, Jared Leto was was uh, the Joker. Jared Leto walked around as the Joker for I believe more than three, four, five weeks or something like that. He woke up, went to sleep, woke up as the Joker every day. I think Rick Ross and him did a um, song, and he was even in the video as the Joker, standing on the boat when Ross and him was rapping. So he went around, he did that, he played that character, and he played it out to the point where he wanted to emerge himself into a character. Now, granted, a lot of people didn't like his version of the Joker. I thought his version of the Joker was pretty good. A lot of people didn't like his version of the Joker because they was comparing it to Heath Ledger Joker, which isn't fair because, I mean can't compare him to that joker that's a totally different joker but either way um i think that that that's what it is with with with, with cardi is he just he stays in character and that's what you got to do and that's what he's explaining doesn't break character we don't see him around he don't hang out with nobody outside of character that's important i think uzi has shown people by them seeing him by and large through other means, whether it's even it's through his relationship, that yeah, Uzi's a really good musician. But he's not that fucking weird. Yeah, we don't believe it. it ain't that weird. Yeah, I understand exactly what he's saying there, because he never does break character and that matters. That definitely matters. Last time you really had people going for it is when they really thought that he was believing into the devil. I think they've realized, like, nah. Him and his girlfriend do regular stuff. They get dressed and whatever, and he loves her. She loves him. That's exactly what I was saying. Like, he act, he's running around like he is Satanist and all this stuff. Like, that wears off. Same thing is same thing with the boy, Lil Nas X. Ain't like people saying, oh, he ain't even gay. He's like, oh, I'm doing these things, you know, all these videos where he taunting Christians and all this stuff. Like, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shock value rappers. That's what a lot of these young rappers are. They're shock value rappers. A good portion of them, shock value rappers. And it just ain't working no more. And I think a lot of people were starting to see right through him. Like, man, I don't know about this. But that's it. But the mystique there is going down, if you ask me. What does that mean? It means that his music has to be fucking fire. Now, here's the thing about Cardi's mystique. And I'm not trying to compare both artists. But still. Cardi's mystique is that Cardi could drop something that when we listen to it for the first time, it's like, yo, this shit's all whack. What is this? But the aura and mystique about him right now, I thought that was a whole lot of rent. Because I remember when niggas said it was whack. And I seen niggas go back to listen to it till it became hot. That's some shit. That is... That right there, it's a lot to that. That's a great statement, to be honest with y'all. Sometimes, and I don't want to say that Playboy Cardi is ahead of his time. I'm definitely not saying that. But I'm saying sometimes when you do certain things and you be experimental and you do certain things, a lot of people look at it from the point of view like, it's trash because they don't understand it or it's not for them. There's a difference between NBA Young Bull and Playboy Cardi to me. There's a big difference. You know what I'm saying? Because Young Bull does a lot, and a lot of times you don't really understand what he's talking about. He just rapping, blah, 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 saying a bunch of stuff. When Playboy Cardi, it's like he's, it's like it's like he's, he's writing. 
all his music in a dark room, like midnight. He's like a midnight rapper. Like, like he's the dark side rapper. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever you want to call it. And you could kind of feel that coming from him. Even if you don't like the song, you could feel the dark energy. You know what I'm saying? It's some shit. It's kind of interesting. Because it's almost at the point that Cardi has passed Uzi. But I don't know if it's with music. Because it totally take with the both versions. I fucked with it. Pink tape, highly, like he was dropping. But the perception of Cardi and Uzi right now. I think Cardi passed Uzi. But it wasn't with music. <laughs> he just passed him with. It's like aura and image. Like, and I ain't gonna lie, it's done so much. Yo, when I look in Cardi right now, I think Cardi is the closest thing to Travis Scott, my nigga. And and there's no song that I'm gonna quote you with. Not now, obviously, he has amazing, he has amazing contributions on Carnival on type shit and records like that, but I literally, be, I literally have. I'm looking at Cardi to say, "This this nigga knows how to control people." Because the more as time goes on, people become more interested in him and want to be like him. And he seems like he's like this epitome of youthful cool. That's a good way of putting it. Uh, I would probably say he ha he has a magnetic aura, and I think a lot of people are looking for somebody to follow. And he seems like he's weird enough, but at the same time, he's street enough. You know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 a it's a, a crazy combination. I'm saying that. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um. I think that it's a crazy combination for him to, uh, you know, people to follow him. You know what I'm saying? Because that that combination, that mixture is, is very, very intoxicating to some people. And I want to speak on that yawning thing, right? Somebody said, hey, you, must be t you must be tired of this topic because you yawn. Now, you know what happens? Sometimes when, we, when, when people talk a lot, for some reason, you take in a lot of air and you you yawn. It's not that I'm tired because I'm definitely not tired. It's just I talk so much. And sometimes you'll see me grip my teeth like because I'm trying not to, you know, what's the name? But I just had to explain that. I don't know why I explain it, but sometimes I like to explain everything. Anyway, so let's keep it going. We almost done with this one. And I know none of that is by accident. It's by design. To me, that's like. Wow, that's a fucking skill. If you ask me, now, I'm using the Travis vertical. So the Travis vertical goes Kanye, Kanye, Travis. The next, the next thing is, is Cardi. By the way, if you're looking at Tyler, Tyler isn't really on that vertical. And if you're looking at street niggas like Future, he's not on that vertical. If you're looking at Drake, he's not on that vertical. I'm just saying. So I'm not saying like Cardi's like the second most. No, no, no. What I'm saying is that Cardi to me, I, it's hard for me to fucking explain it. This thing is just, even when he does wrong, it's right. It's kind of odd. And I, I think that Uzi is in an interesting place. Because I think Uzi is trying to capture the people like he did before, except with primarily music. Like, no disrespect to Cardi. I don't think Cardi ever captivated the entire culture with just music. It's been these other... Well, it's, it's a reason for that. He hasn't really been out that long. Like, he's been out a, a little bit, but he ain't been out that long. I think Lil Uzi been out much longer than him. And if he hasn't, then Cardi really wasn't trying, you know, like, he, was, he wasn't known like Uzi's known. So, but we're going to finish this up. 
things that has always been setting him apart. Uzi, I thought at a point, had this shit solely with music. And this is where we get to now, where, like, I think the music's good. I just don't think the music is 2016. Perception-wise, good. Not saying it's trash. It, you know, people had a perception, like, we're caught up in a matrix in 2016. And everybody's expecting Uzi to get that back. It's not that it's bad, but people want that feeling back. And that's a hard feeling to get back. While Cardi doesn't have to get the feeling back of music being as hot as another type of music. As long as he keeps you on the path of whatever he got going on that has a lot of mystique and a lot of aura. It works out in his favor. I could be wrong on that. That's a hot take of mine. But yeah, we're going to end the day. If y'all want to watch the rest, just go on his channel. Yeah, so the thing about uh, Lil Uzi Vert and all these these uh, youngsters that still doing it, I think that they lost their way and creatively they lost their way. And now they're just basically kind of beholden to the record label and the record label is telling them they got an album due this time and they come out and drop the album, do no promotion, do nothing. Uzi had no single and if he did, I didn't hear it. Nobody heard it. Wasn't no video. Wasn't nothing uh, being promoted. Though it just seems like a lot of these these artists are just so arrogant enough to think that everybody's just gonna like them just for them. And it's like, oh, you even got to do music, or they'll do something that's like they think it's catchy or cute or something like that, and then they come out and 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 everybody's supposed to like them for for them and all this. No, you got to put out some fire work, man. You got artists out here that's been dropping fire music and people starting to see that. And nobody want to hear you just uh, walk on stage with a, with a, with a Birkin bag or, or whatever and some hills looking like this. Nobody wants to see that. That's trash. And that's the thing, man. So I think that's what it is with him. I think a lot of people are starting to, they starting to uh, realize that this dude is not that good. And um, yeah, so it is what it is, man. All right, man. Yeah, yourself a good afternoon. Six o'clock show coming up. Yeah. Peace. Bye. Love y'all.